friction between acceleration due to gravity and universal gravitational constant so understand the picture first we assume two object one object is our earth and another object is on the surface of the earth so the another object that mass is a small m is placed on the surface of earth under the acceleration due to gravity g means in this object is under the acceleration small g acceleration due to gravity m is the mass of earth and its mass is concentrated as its center so what is the distance between the two object the distance between the two object is r that is radius of earth now we start the derivation part between these two object a force let us write that a force f b the force of attraction the force of attraction between the object and the earth a force capital f is working here we know according to universal law of gravitation f is equal to g m m by r square to universal law of gravitation f is equal to g m into m divided by r square if you remember the universal law of gravitation working between two bodies the force of attraction is equal to product of their masses divided by the distance between them so in this case the object is earth and one object that is mass, mass is a small m and the distance between the two object is your radius of earth make it equation number 1 again according to newton's second law of motion newton's second law of motion we know that f is equal to mass into acceleration m into a but in this case in the place of a we have to use g because this object is under the acceleration due to gravity f is equal to m into g make it equation 2 now equate your equation 1 and 2 the left side as you see both are forces so we can write from equation 1 and 2 m g is equal to capital g m m divided by r square so this small m will cancel and finally we got the equation g is equal to g m by r square this is the relation between acceleration due to gravity and universal gravitational constant where m is the mass of the earth and r is radius of the earth observe this equation properly a small g is equal to capital g m divided by r square it means your value of acceleration due to gravity g is independent of mass shape and size of the object but it depends on the mass and radius of earth and that's why in free fall i explain that whether the object is heavy or light means in the case of coin and feather when both drop from a certain height both will reach the ground at the same time